Hello and welcome to Napster Gaming. It's been a pretty intense last episode, so let's see what the aftermath is. So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the live stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah, at least that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The live stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in, like all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we- Say no more! Let's ride, people! <laughs> wow, Red, what's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. Sick push mark. <laughs> this here is Spango. He's taken quite a liking to you. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Disney, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. All right, Gongaga Intel. Let's go. We should probably take a look at. Uh. Okay, so we've got community board first. I noticed both. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancy trying to find us up there. No time. Okay, teach me a great warrior. I don't know why I just added the O in there. Okay, let's go and check these out. So, first one is there. Let's go visit Grandma. This is the GYC reminding you to stay for now at least. <laughs> Say, can you spare a minute? Not really. You know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Wow, Cloud, well, come on. It's a grandma. Seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Great. They love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. 
Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Very specific. Oh my god, this quest is going to be painful. painful isn't it You must have made to get here. Over there. Remember, no feeding the wildlife. Back to square one. Okay, it's testing my patience. Time to top up the old batteries. Close. At least you don't need to restart it. So, I was so about well done, you. Square, for at least Pete adding that in. Pippily. Goodness me, how far could she have gone? Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. 
Right. Pilots exactly. Well, since the Republic's on the strap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Long way back to town. Careful now. Oh, this is so painful. And that is a terrible start. So it's my turn? You like 
I'll finish. I'll end this. Oh, this is annoying. You're out of luck. Going in. to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Oh man, thank fuck we didn't have to go all the way back. Also, I need to sort my party out because I wasn't happy with that. Um, combat settings. Uh, let's get Tifa. And... Uh, let's get Kate Sif in for a bit. Can I... F oh, we can do that on the way. True warrior, please guide me to greatness. I'm Sotetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know, telling everyone how you turned some state of the art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know. He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. I haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. And there's the true reason. Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please, I'm begging you. Huh? Wait, me? I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course! I'll do anything! Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For pain! Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> God. Um, I better heal. Let our training begin. 
I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. Halt, fiend! Keep me away, man. You're gonna feel this one! I actually completely messed up, but... Okay, pressure on enemy. How did I not pressure? Nice. Don't overdo it. goes can't see the ninjas for the trees he wants to become a warrior not a ninja now strike swift and true okay, dagger an enemy <laughs> pressure an enemy twice so Elemental weakness. Okay. Okay, so this should be. Oh, bollocks. Come on. Ice and lightning, fire, fire, ice and lightning. There's one stagger. There's two stagger. Come on, you're a ninja now, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, secret gem. We we made it. <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zach told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. He called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Her strength. Uh, her body. Uh, and mind. Uh, start. Uh, by training. Uh, you're behind. Uh. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? What the? Get back. Has anything ever been more typical, you think? To assess. Let's do this. Too easy. It's on you. Leave it to me. Your turn now. Hang back. I got your note. Okay, exploring their elemental weakness will draw their ire. After some time passes, they will begin to rest, inflicting enough damage while their resting will pressure them. Okay, cool. So. Deal with that. Heat wave. I got Take the lead. Your turn now. Let's do this. Oh, man, where is that? Be careful. Let's switch it up. It's Watch yourself. Hey. Do 
I made such hard work of that. Anyway. We actually won? Wow. All that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back at the village. Uh, hello? What about my materia? Okay, so that is that done. Okay, and we can fast travel there, so let's just go back to town. So we just talked it over. And we'd like to ask you to train all of us in the art of combat. Our coalition's only as good as its weakest member, so it only makes sense to get stronger together. We're really just passing through. But you could rest here for a while. Hmm. Our services don't come cheap. It'll cost you a million gil. <laughs> That's a pretty steep price, but we could probably manage. What? Oh, and he forgot to mention materia. Preferably the precious kind. That we can't do. <sighs> Look, Sotetsu, they may be good at their jobs, but don't you think they're asking a bit much? We're looking for training, not trouble. <sighs> if you're looking for someone to train you, then look no further. <laughs> no money or materia required. Well, thanks, Sisne. That'd be great. But what about them? They're veterans of the battlefield. And under the tutelage. What? My tutelage not good enough? In case you've forgotten, I've seen my fair share of action. If all of you are serious about upping your game, I'll help you out. In fact, I've been meaning to offer for a while now. Seeing as we're here, well... Sounds good to me. Me too. Well, I thought it was a good idea. Sorry I wasn't able to convince the rest of them. It's just... I felt something when we first met. Almost like fate. And I guess I got a little carried away. Don't sweat it. Then that settles it. Listen up. There's no backing out now, so be warned. I won't go easy. Roger! Roger. Cloud! Yuffie! I know you've got to make a living and all, but you might want to consider lowering your rates. How considerate after you consider paying me! Where's my materia? Three orbs, or two? Two's good! Enough already. You're embarrassing yourself. Just one, dude! Cloud's an arsehole, asking for a million gil. Um, okay, let's report back to Chicken Lady. Mmm, chicken. to be reunited with you in this place they call home. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. 
So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. <laughs> no way. Pippily. running free if I hadn't well we all gotta eat oh that's wild that that just happened okay um, let's have a look at the item Was it called Lucky Amulet? There it is. Wow. So not worth it. Okay, back to the job board, it seems. happened watch your feet <clears throat> what am I gonna do about you <gasps> wow that's a smell we should go now wait don't leave treat you guys to a bowl if you help with the ingredients <laughs> the pumpkin put up a fight. The knife I've got wasn't long enough to chop it in one clean go. Had to get stabby. And that bulbous bastard. The onion. I mean, I had to close my eyes while I cut it. But that might have been a bad call. I feel ya. So, what more do you need? Hmm. Oh, right. Torgan's vegetables. That dog's probably parked near the village entrance, selling his produce. You mind swinging by and picking up some of his stuff for me? Okay, where is he? Or she? What a sweet boy you were, for staying behind for me. You'll be good to talk now, you hear? Did you just pay that dog money? Oh, him? That's Melon, Torgan's pup. He comes by from time to time to sell their farm's produce. We grow our own veggies here in town too, but the ones from Torgan's field are especially delicious. Come on, let's go after him. Will he run faster if I'm on a chocobo? Nope.
my boy. How'd it go today? Good? Hello. Not seen you before. Out of towners? Just visiting, yeah. So, could we buy some of your produce? Can't help you. Don't sell to out of towners. Barely got enough for the locals as is. Judging by them duds you got on, you're city folk, ain't you? I ain't about to sell the bounty of my soil to young'uns who ain't never got down in the muck with me and mine. Now get. I don't know Rude. the first thing about farming, but I do know how happy these veggies are. Can practically hear them. <laughs> got an eye for the stuff, but you're telling me you got an ear too? What's this one saying? Something about how rich the soil is. How it can thrive and spread its roots deep. Grow big and strong. I'll be. Oh, quit with the guilt tripping now, will ya? You know perfectly well I wasn't gonna leave them high and dry. <laughs> we ain't seeing any more customers today, I reckon. So whatever we got left over is yours for the taking. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. They finally learned to talk back. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually trying to make Gungaga mushroom soup. What do you think we should use? Any advice would be great. Hmm. At the risk of stating the obvious, you'll need some quality Gungaga mushrooms. Or better yet, some Maganga mushrooms. They'll take that soup of yours to the next level. Things grow on a hill near here, but unless you got one hell of an eye, better to rely on a chocobo. They're flavorful suckers, so three caps ought to more than suffice. Pick them one at a time, though, if you want to keep your bird from getting all addled. Their aroma can be mighty powerful. And be mindful of the beasties, too. A lot of types are awful fond of the mushroom scent. Gotcha. Ah, and you can't forget the salt. Nothing brings out the flavor better than a sprinkling. And Magunga mushrooms being what they are, you're gonna wanna savor it. Proper kind of salt for it's got a color close to this. Melon, you get them where they need to go. Why is Cloud defending?
Uh, my party setup suck. Uh, I need to sort all of that out. I do it in between episodes. Looks like they're all slightly different colors. Let's see. Well, one of these auto match Torkin's picture. I'd say that's the one we want. Nailed it. Just realized I was on mute. I thought Wait, going up that cliff color? was uh, out of bounds, like but it clearly wasn't. Alright, I think we've got plenty of salt now. Next up are the Magunga mushrooms. Torkin said we'll need a chocobo to sniff them out. Ok, 
Okay, we need to go down and then left. I don't have time to... <laughs> that arm! That magnificent arm! Uh, it is a weapon! But how does it work? Uh, a universal adapter. Allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally? Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? Uh, an old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> mm -hmm. Eureka! The... <laughs> Sorry. Got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. Well, if I'll say no to a new weapon. Sure, why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Famous last words. Also, Barrett, you found that weapon in a chest. to live by. Okay, open the map. Ezo has provided. Um, press the house. Okay. Must be the map Ezo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Well, isn't that just outside of the hut? Now oh, look, doggy. Uh... Okay. 
Yeah, look. Doggy is that way. Well, that's not helpful now, is it? Oh. Okay, so it's each part of the map. So... That would be... Like this. So then go left. Oops. Okay, and then right. Okay, so then we go round. There's, there we go. I mean, I can see it. Why can't I pick it up? I don't understand why I can't pick up. Oh, fuck's sake.
What, do, do I need Barrett in the party or something? I don't know. Uh, combat settings. Reset and have a look at this again. So the only thing was, this was lit. So is there another one that's not lit? Doesn't make any sense. Place we're looking for you've got to be kidding so on you good to go yeah whatever bring it home my turn let's do it Pretty rough on you, I know, but you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. Okay, now can I gather the materials, please? Yay! Still got more to find.
Is that everything? It is. Let's head back and check in with Izo. Okay, can I fast travel? Yes. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! My gift to you, I insist! I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> Use her as you like. Wow. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow, years from now, think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make <laughs> it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. Okay. Mm so you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. Nice. Let's check out the weapon. Consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Ooh. So I've lost. That's fine, I'm just leveling that up anyway. Um, got one of those going. Maybe gravity. finish powering that up we like that MPR
Okay, now we need to go here. Must be the area Torgan was talking about. Though we're gonna need a chocobo to search. Great. Mushroom. Note its mushroom like qualities. Just gotta be very careful. Okay. Test the pliability of each portion of the mushroom with L. The portion with the most give should be tugged first. Okay. I don't feel any difference. I mean, I just guess that. More of them ought to be around here somewhere. Okay, back to the birds. Okay, let's go. Okay, so fire. Don't know that I have anyone who's got silence.
but this is definitely not going to work. Right. I got this. It's on you. You won't regret this. We need to put silence on someone. I mean, he's nearly leveled that up, so. Found another one. Into the sack it goes. I literally do not understand this. Maybe that one. Picking, Mr. Merck. <laughs> I still don't get it. One more to go. Let's use the chocobos to find the last mushroom. Oh, some strong legs to break that fall, Jesus. actually have silence on anyone um, it's the binding material Don't let me down. Oh, damn, 
Okay, there's a new tactic. Just spam overpower. The third and final. Let's not mess this up. That's annoying. Think you got a future in farming. What's with that fist bump? That should be it for the mushrooms. Yep, looks like we're done done. Let's get this stuff to Cisne. Get done done. Um, okay, so if we go back. Enjoy your new home in the trash can. Am I ever gonna get this right? We come bearing ingredients. Why don't you give it one more shot? I can pitch in too. Well, since you guys went to the trouble. Okay, one more shot. are always inviting me over for dinner. Thought I'd be nice and return the favor by making them poison, apparently. But as you can see, I'm a sore loser. Cooking's never as easy as you think. Got that right. Didn't need to learn back in Midgar. The company provided all our meals. It tasted like garbage, though. Don't know how I stomach the stuff. That bad, huh? <laughs> but what about the bomb berry flavor? Bomberry? What, like the military rations? Yeah, those. Uh, sorry, that's really not important. Uh, what is important is the soup. The soup! Time to taste test! <sighs> Whoa there, might want to let it cool. Right. Oops. That's pretty good. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just know the fairs are gonna love it. Great job. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna end that episode there. We've helped all of the people here um, and I will see you in the next episode as we carry on our journey.